good morning children so now um, i hope you might have learned all the topics that we have discussed yesterday uh, that now today we are going to discuss about some more terms related to polynomial here so now we learn about the standard form of polynomial standard form of a polynomial what is it what is called a standard form everything should be standard then only we will use our calculation here so first of all is that it is the method in which the polynomials the terms you may see the polynomial only the polynomial is arranged in ascending or descending order of degree so this is called standard form suppose that if i am writing here 3x cube minus 5x to the power 5 plus 7. So it's not a standard form. This is not a standard form. Why? See? No, this is standard form. This is standard form. Why? Because see, after 3, I have written 5. Okay? Then you say, sir, 3 is there. And then I'm writing 5. Yes, you can write here. But here, see, the 7 has come. 7 has come here. So, because of this 7 only, this whole arrangement will become not a standard form. Understood? Now, then what is standard form? That means, see, when you decrease on the downside there, it will come like 5x to the power 5 plus 3x cube plus 7. Now, see, 5 then 3 then no power no degree because constant and no degree only we'll learn this also now suppose that this is called the this one is called the descending order now suppose if i want to write in the ascending order then first of all i'll write 7 then i'll write 3x cube then i'll write minus 5x to the power this is called ascending and this both are correct they both are the standard form only but this one is not the standard form this one why because 3 is here 5 is here see 3 5 and then there is one 0 so that's why 3 5 0 so it's something mixing so that's why this two are called either descending or ascending this is called the standard form of the polynomial now some next topic some more topics there now will differentiate will divide polynomial on the basis of their because now we are in a position to answer this that's why i'm teaching you this types of polynomial types of polynomial okay number one on the basis of degree on the basis of degree what types are there so on the basis of degree we have first of all linear polynomial its degree is 1 example you write 7x 5x plus 3y these all are linear polynomials. Yes, this is of two terms, but power is one only. Degree is one only. So this is called linear polynomial. Then we have quadratic polynomials. Okay, what are that? In that degree, very good. Degree is two. You are answering there. So it is minus three x square plus five x, or it may be seven x square plus three something means my power is highest power is two so this is quadratic polynomial these all things are based on the basis of degree only then finally it will become cubic polynomial 
very good you all are shouting there that to be polynomially sir which degree is 3 very nice yes the degree is 3 here so then example you write there by yourself it is 13x cube plus 5x square plus 2 highest power is 3 so this is called cubic polynomial now this is first based on the degree now we will discuss on the basis of term here now we will discuss on the basis of term the first one is called monomial mono means mono rails are there in japan and india also so mono means only one one boggy rail is called mono rails okay one term only so minus 13x cube it's a cubic but in terms it is only monomial you may write 5t these all are called monomials why because they are having only one term then we have binomial what are binomial by Bi means bilateral series is there no? in cricket we are having cricket bilateral series two nations used to play so this is called binomial means two terms will be there very good you all are knowing this this one is 5x plus 3y see if i ask on the basis of degree this is linear but if i ask on the basis of term this is binomial because we have two term term one and term two so this is binomial then we have trinomial very good tri series that means three terms that means three terms here so it may be 5x cube plus 3x square minus 3 so see three terms are here if i ask you on the basis of degree this is cubic but if i ask on the basis of term this is trinomial so this is the types of polynomials but some other polynomials are also here okay some special polynomials are also here okay so now special polynomials we have a special polynomials these are two one is called zero polynomial it consists only zero this is called zero polynomial so and its degree is not defined its degree is not defined one is called constant polynomial what is that constant constant you are knowing one two three four five something like this so constant polynomials it consists zero we have taken then we have consist only non zero numerals okay example suppose that minus 5 only minus 5 minus 13 by 2 these all are called constant polynomial and see the degree of constant polynomial because degree is always taken of variable this is constant so degree is always zero degree of a constant polynomial is called zero now we have to read about value of a polynomial and one more topic that is called zero of the polynomial what is that just see this first of all we will discuss about value of a polynomial what is that called value of a polynomial what we are now sir going to discuss here so what we are going to discuss here just see this the value of a polynomial px means all variables are in terms of x only the value of a polynomial px at x is equal to alpha this is called alpha is obtained by putting x is equal to alpha in the polynomial that is 
B tax, okay, and is denoted by P alpha. You will understand this by one example. Suppose I have taken one polynomial and that is suppose three x square. Suppose P x is equal to three x square minus five x plus six, and they are saying that find P two. They are saying find P two. That means here alpha is equal to two. That means wherever x is there, we'll put alpha. Okay, understand? So wherever x is there, we'll put alpha. Alpha is two. So now P x here also will put P two. So P two will become three into two square minus five into two plus six. So answer is two to the fourth is a twelve minus ten plus six. So what is the value of P two? So value of P two is equal to twelve plus six eighteen minus ten eight. So this is how is called. We find the value of a polynomial. Okay. So now <coughs> we'll discuss. Okay, so these are the terms that we have to discuss now. Okay, so now uh, in the next class we will learn about zero of the polynomial and then conclusion and division algorithm there. So be ready, read from your books. Okay, that books you have you have purchased and then on next day we will discuss our topic there. Till then, thank you class. Thank you very much for attending the class.